each January. Uh, each county is required to certify to the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture the amount of funding available for the given year, for the year that we're in, toward farmland preservation. Whether that be from county general fund, from donations, um, any, any source uh, any source that's providing funds for farmland preservation must be certified. The state then takes that number and matches it with whatever they have available at whatever ratio they, they come up with, depending on available funds at the state level. Uh, at this point, through the donations from municipalities, we have $75,600 to certify. Uh, each of you are aware that there are two applications from the Conservation District and Farmland Preservation Board for compre comprehensive plan implementation funds, which is a, a pot of funds available for, uh, for grants that would implement portions of the comprehensive plan that was approved back in 2000. Seven. Seven at starting eight. Um, so you have those two applications before you. If you would choose to fund any of those at any level, then that should be added to the seventy-five thousand six hundred dollars. If you don't, it would remain at seventy-five thousand six hundred. So I'll need some direction. What are our thoughts here on this? Well, my thoughts are that the fact that they submitted this after the budget process, because they didn't get any money in the budget, that. I'm not so sure that we ought to give them any money from this fund. I personally feel that uh, the, the request is a bit high because we don't have a lot of But what I was going to suggest is a $50,000 donation to farmland preservation for Category 3 funding assistance to preserve the next, to help preserve the next farm in line. Well, my thoughts are. <laughs> Since we're going around here, the two hundred thousand that they're asking for in general, I'm, I'm not in favor of giving them. I want to keep that two hundred thousand for other uh, municipal projects. Well, I'll go along with that. Do we want to make a motion to that effect? I'll Get that move. one off the table. I'll so move. Do you have a second? Repeat your most motion. Well, the motion is the two hundred thousand. Goes away. We don't. We're not going to approve the two hundred thousand dollars under category. Any money out of the any tour. any money. Out any of, money. Period. Yes. So uh, out of category of three. Out of category three. Okay, Robert's rules of orders will not allow me to to bring that forward. So then I would. Okay, I do not have a second for that. Okay, I'll second that motion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Two to one. They don't get the two hundred thousand under category three. So you're denied. If they ask for this, what it would be category two, and uh, we have a little more money in that at, at this point we have 191,000 available in in that category uh, they were asking for 50 of that Got it. I was willing to give them 30 the other two weren't willing to give them 30 for that specific form for whatever reasons and I, I, think, I think you heard those. story three we have two hundred thousand dollars available and they asked for two hundred thousand uh, dollars which is all of the money which they probably knew when they put in the request how much we had there uh, for farmland preservation in general, okay? And it did come in, as Bill said, right after the uh, budget process where they were turned down because of a lack of funding, and they realized we had this other fund, so. Okay, so Bettina, based on your, your vote, uh, Commissioner Litz, uh, you did, it seems like you didn't want to play favoritism on the with the funding. Exactly. In other words, to preserve a farm, there is criteria established. Not only does our local farm preservation board approve that criteria, so does the state farm preservation board. I think that criteria should be followed, period. All right, so now we need a motion to certify this other money. Correct. To certify 75600 to be available for the 2011 program year. One more question. We don't have to certify the amount that we have put aside because I think that's important that, um, no disrespect to you, John, but I don't think that came out in the last article where we do have $81,000. Is that right? Uh, set aside to, imp to administer the program and to, um, so for the, for the municipalities or whoever is contributing money, but also to go out and do all the inspections because every farm that is preserved must have an annual inspection. 
So there's a lot of paperwork involved. And if a, if a farm gets sold, our staff have to follow that farm and make sure that the easement is transferred, that it's not forgotten. So there's a lot of paperwork that has to be done. And I think it's important to acknowledge that the county, even if we aren't contributing to it, preserving additional farmland, we are funding $81,000 to maintain that program and implement it for the others who are contributing. For the $75,000. Uh, no. So, so that doesn't have to be certified. No, no, no it, can't, it can't be. It's not. It's that, not that money can't go toward preserving acreage. I didn't know if it would help certified. count it. If no. somebody looked at it, it, would help count. Okay. No, that's just me. For match. Okay. Second. Well, do we or have first, a whichever. I'll make it. <laughs> Phil made the motion. Draw and second it. All in favor, say aye. 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 Ayes have it sorted. Okay. Farmland preservation.